Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change file type associations on macOS on macOS Ventura. So basically, when you have a file on a Mac and you double click on a particular file, then it's going to open with its default application. So for example here, I'm going to double click and this is a RTF file. So this is a basically a rich text file and it's opened up with what's called text edit. And let's say I have a different text editor called Sublime Text, and I want to use this one to open up rich text files or text files in the future. I'm going to show you how to change the file type associations so that when you double click, it changes to a different application. And I'm going to show you a couple of different examples on how to do this. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So in order to do this, we're going to find an example file type. So this is one RTF document. I'm going to hold down the control key and then click on this file. And then I want to click on the get info button. And this basically gives us all the information about what kind of file it is and the full file name, etc. So it's a .rtf. Now, what you need to do is to go ahead and expand this section here, which says open with. And when you've got this section open, you can see that this is by default opening with text edit. But let's say we want to open this with Sublime Text instead. We're going to click on this menu here and then scroll down and then find the alternative application. So you could definitely use other applications like Word, Pages, depends on what you have installed on your computer. So here we're going to select Sublime Text. Now this file is going to be opening up with Sublime Text now. So I double click on here, that's opened up with Sublime Text Editor. However, the other RTF file I have in the document, I'm going to double click and that's opened up with text edit. Now, what I wanna do is to change all RTF files to open up with a single application. So what you do is we go through the same process again, and then we select the application that we want to change all the RTF files to open with. And then we click this button, which says change all. And it says here, are you sure you wanna change all similar documents to open with the application Sublime Text? This change will apply to all documents with the extension .rtf. Now press continue. And now that's changed. So that means that every single RTF file is now going to open up with the alternative text editor. And so that's all been changed. Just give you another example. So for example, if you double click on an MP4 file, by default, it will open up using QuickTime Player. However, if you have an alternative, for example, something like VLC, then you might want to use that instead because it's a bit more flexible. So what I'm going to do is the same process. We're going to select the MP4 file example and then press control and then hold down the control key and then click on the file and then click get info. And then once we get info here, we can change the open width. And as long as we have an alternative video player installed like VLC, we can select that and then make sure that all MP4 files open up with VLC then click change all. Are we sure we want to do this? This will apply to all MP4 files. Press continue. And now if I double click on an MP4 file, it's going to open up with VLC player instead of the default QuickTime player. So that file extension has now been modified. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.